Uh, problem number 17 of section 2.1 gives us a word problem where we have a pile of sand that forms the shape of a right circular cone um, with a fixed height of 10 meters. Now the sand is um, assumed to be added in such a way so that the height stays constant and only the base grows. Um, so and then we're asked to find the rate of change of the volume. So how much, how fast is the volume of the cone growing with respect to the radius? So the first step is to recall the function for um, the volume of a cone. So the volume of a cone is equal to well, one third times the volume of the right circular cylinder that would fit inside it perfectly. So in other words, one third times the height of the cone times the area of the base, which is pi times r squared. But now here we're going to be, um, we're going to let r be a variable because r is changing over time, or changing as we add sand. So we can actually write this, the volume as a function of r equal to one third uh, h times pi r squared. Now since we have a fixed height of 10 meters, we can rewrite this as the volume uh, at radius r is equal to h over 3 or 10 thirds times pi r squared. So what we're asked to find is the rate of change of the volume with respect to the radius. In other words, the derivative of v with respect to r. Now this r is our variable here, so we can use the um, use the power rule. So we multiply by 2 and lower exponent to 1. We simplify this. We have 20 over 3, or excuse me, 20 pi over 3 times r. And our units are going to be uh, in meters, or well, units are going to be cubic meters. And with respect to change in our independent variable r, which is it's cubic meters, not centimeters, with, with, uh, with change uh, or with respect to the change in the, our independent variable r, which is measured in meters.